What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to share with you what to do if your PlayStation 4 is having network errors and you're not able to sign into the PlayStation Network. These are a lot of easy fixes, so let's get right into this. So since these are a lot of easy fixes for us gamers, most of these are gonna be considered as common sense, but some people do forget to check some of these. So let's start with the most easiest and the most common sense thing to do, and that is to make sure and to check that the PlayStation Network is not down. Now I know for us gamers, me saying that should not need to be said, but there's a lot of people, a lot of newbies and people that aren't hardcore gamers that just forget to even check that the servers are working and the network's not actually down. Then the next thing you're gonna want to do is to reset your internet modem or router. To do this, you're gonna unplug the power, you're gonna wait one minute, you're gonna plug it back in, and you're going to let it reboot. Now, sometimes this may take up to 15 minutes for your internet to reboot, just let it do its thing, and then you're gonna to want to go back on the PlayStation 4 and you're gonna to want to test the internet connection. Sometimes by you rebooting your internet and restarting your internet, sometimes that actually does work and now you will have a stronger signal for your PlayStation 4 and be able to get online. If it still doesn't work, now you're gonna to want to restart your PlayStation 4. To do this, you're gonna turn off the PlayStation 4, wait one minute and turn it back on. Now, whenever you are turning it off, you're gonna make sure that it is completely turned off and not into rest mode. You want it to be completely turned turned off doing this. Now, after it is turned back on, you are gonna to want to go back into the internet settings and you're gonna to want to test the internet connection again and see if that did help you. Now, if that didn't work, you might want to go and re-enter all of your Wi-Fi settings. To do this, you're gonna go into settings, then select network, Next, you're gonna select set up internet connection. You're gonna select custom and then select your Wi-Fi network and enter your password. And then whenever you get to the DNS settings, you're gonna select manual and Normally, I would have a list of different codes that you can put in for your DNS settings. However, the last time I made a video on the DNS settings, I had a lot of people comment saying that the ones I mentioned in the video do not work, and a lot of people saying that's the wrong ones, and yada, yada, yada. What I found out later on doing my research for this video, some of those codes just don't work for some people, and they don't work for everybody. So go and look up different DNS codes, try a few and see what works for you. The most common ones are 8.8.8.8 for the primary, and the secondary is 8.8.4.4. That is one of the most common ones. The other one is 1.1.1.1, and for the secondary, 1.0.0.1. Again, there is a whole bunch out there, and I'm not saying just try those two. Look up, there's other ones that you can try. There's ones for Google and other servers and different things like that. Try different ones and see what works for you. And I just hope there's nobody down in the comments roasting me for saying that and not making it specific which ones to use because, again, Doing my research for this video, there is so many that actually can be seen and different ones that can be used and not all of them work for everybody. So if it doesn't work for you, it just doesn't mean that that DNS server doesn't work. It just doesn't work for you. Try other ones. So, and then while doing that, Finish setting up your internet connection and see if it does work and test your internet connection. If it doesn't work, simply go and try different DNS settings and see if you can get one that will work for you and make the connection stronger for you. Now, hopefully after doing that and re-entering all your internet settings and trying d different DNS uh, settings, Hopefully the internet and the PlayStation Network does work for you. If it does, great. And hopefully this has fixed your problem. If it has, great. And I will see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.